Hello, I'm Kate Johnson, and this is my first time. I'm so excited to be here. It's so bright, I can't see your face. <laughs> a little bit about me. Um, I am married to the hottest bald man in this place tonight. <laughs> and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, really, that just means I don't get out much. Like, I'm allowed to leave. I can. I can leave the house. But you just have to really, really want to go somewhere to take three kids out in public. So I don't get out much. But when I do, especially if it's like during the day and I'm without my kids, I have this tendency that whoever I'm with, I feel like they just have the small responsibility to make it as fun as possible because I don't get out much. So it's fine when I'm like with my friends or at Chick-fil-A. It's their pleasure to give me a fun time. But like, I was at the dentist last week and he's giving me that numbing shot, you know, the needle is like a foot long. Why is that needle so long? Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. You were not blessed with I'm from Kentucky teeth. The needle is so long. So he's giving me the shot and I'm laying there and I look at him and I'm like, I don't get out much. If you can make it as fun as possible. He just looked at me kind of funny and I swear he jammed that thing in a little bit farther. My colonoscopy last year got really awkward when I just blurted out to the tech. I don't get out much. You can make this as fun as possible. I got arrested last month. It's fine. Everything is fine. It was a really big misunderstanding. But in the middle of the strip search, when I say, I don't get out much, if you can make this as fun as possible, let's just say the officer was less than amused. <laughs> um, I do love my kids. Like, I don't take them out of the house, but I love them. I, I do. I feel like I would die for them. I mean, I haven't had to, but I think if I had to, I would take a bullet for them or, like, run into a burning building for them. But even though I love them and I, like, birthed them, there are some things that I just would not do for my kids. And one of those things is the nose, Frida. You hippie parents out there, you love the nose, Frida. I guarantee if you have a friend who cloth diapers their babies, they love the nose, Frida. For all the rest of us, let me explain what it is. Some of you look confused. So it's for when baby has a stuffy nose. And we used to use those little bulb suckers, you know, but those just make them scream. They don't work. So there's this, like, applicator thing that goes in the baby's nose. And then there's a little tube. And then it goes in the parent's mouth where they suck the snot right out of the baby. I'm not even kidding. Apparently, the snot does not go into the parent's mouth, but I cannot confirm that because I've never tried it, and I never will because I do not love my kids that much, okay? I imagine, though, that the scientists or, like, whoever invented the nose freed are sitting around one day, and they're like, dude, let's just see what these sleep-deprived parents are willing to do. <laughs> dude. Let's make a butt Frida. <laughs> and so they did. They made a butt Frida. I'm not even kidding. It has a different name. I can't tell you what it is because I've never bought it and I never will. But there's a butt Frida. And it's, so it's for when babies got trapped gas. Babies got gas. So like the nose Frida, there's a little thing in it. Yeah, in the baby's butt. And then apparently it whistles while it works. <laughs> Okay, that's the butt free to people. <laughs> I can't help but thinking about the college students who are eating laundry detergent pods for fun. And I think, what would happen if they got their hands on a butt Frida? <laughs> We're not safe people, this is our future. Okay. You know the babies are there like, I don't get out much. <laughs> they make this as fun as possible. Yeah. <laughs> the house for fun but I really like to watch movies and so recently I rewatched Castaway and um I remember the first time I saw it I'm like oh ah, the horror Tom Hanks Wilson he can't leave you know like I thought it was horrible and then I watched it as a mom of three and I'm all hello FedEx hi <laughs> do you have any poorly maintained planes flying over a deserted island well equipped with some chocolate a soft red maybe a raft that you need a delivery person for? Hello, FedEx? <laughs> also, I don't know why this is still the universal symbol for phone. Mine should really look like this. 
<laughs> Shut up back there! I'm trying to call someone! That's all I have time for. I'm Kate Johnson!